purchase old school bodybuilding courses and books, please check out www.goldenerabookworm.com. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here and today I would like to review and finally announce my collaboration with bodybuilding photographer and film director Alex Ardenti on the newly released film Sups the Movie. The movie which focuses on the history of bodybuilding supplement industry has just hit Amazon Prime and Vimeo where the film can be viewed. As you can read in the official poster for the film, Sups the Movie is an in-depth super concentrated dose of documentary filmmaking that explores the pumped up high octane sports supplement industry. The film chron chron chronologically documents the history of supplementation and in my opinion is an absolute masterpiece. Today I will not only review the movie but give you an exclusive sneak peek at some footage that Alex Ardenti himself has given to me to share with you my audience. If you are into silver era and, God, uh, and golden era bodybuilding of which I know most of you are and if you want a good dose of old school bodybuilding nostalgia and you'd like to learn about the evolution of the multi-billion dollar supplement industry then this movie is definitely for you. Now before giving you my actual review of the film I'd like to run the trailer for this film for you to enjoy. I don't think that Bill Phillips looked at it as, I want to compete against them. I want to destroy them. If they pass legislation basically making any type of food supplement a prescription item, that would be the end, the death of the entire food supplement industry. In the 1960s, the sports supplement industry was barely emerging. I think the reason why Joe Weider was so successful was he had Arnold on his side. He wasn't selling supplements. He was in the dream business. Joe Weider was a marketing genius. People would say the promotions or the endorsements back then were cheesy. To me, it wasn't. I loved it. Fitness was taking off. You know, fitness became cool. You had a lot of readers that wanted to be like the stars that they idolized. Bill's strength is his marketing savvy. He's a marketing genius. It's only by the right of American citizens to have free access to dietary supplements of their choice. Consult your physician, you might as well consult the next guy you meet on the street. They don't know a damn thing about vitamins and nutrition. The dietary supplement industry became the number two most regulated industry. Nuclear, dietary supplements, pharmaceutical. We are more regulated than drugs. They come in and you uh, need to allow the FDA. They have jurisdiction. The enforcement is kind of the questionable side of it and how do they really get a handle on this monster. A lot of people tell me that the dietary supplement industry is completely unregulated. It's the wild, wild west out there. It's a free for all. That could not be further from the truth. A dietary supplement is not allowed to have a side effect. I always say the pharmaceutical has to have a minimum of 100 side effects in order for it to be a drug. And now, it's a $40 billion industry and growing. That's the really interesting thing, is the cast of characters from the 80s, when it was kind of iffy, to now when it's a lot more legitimate. They made it sound cutting edge, revolutionary, and different, and I want that. That's cool. We are in this industry to improve our health. It's not just a vanity project here. We're working on our lifeline. We eat a certain way to improve our health. We train a certain way to improve our health. Supplements are just that. They supplement your work, your graft, your nutrition. Uh, they demonize dietary supplements, but they say all you need is real food. Well, what's a real food? They pump you up and get you hard, stronger, faster, bigger. Doc, I want to take this weight gain. I want to take this pre-workout. That this, no, no way. That stuff, we don't know what's in that. It could be, no way. I'm not going to give you, it's going to kill the industry, bottom line. So I must have drank so much protein powder from age 15 to 18 that my head was gonna explode. <laughs> I believed in metrics so much that I would probably punch somebody in the face if they tried to take it away from me. Now, as you just saw, the film features the who's who of bodybuilding, both old school and new school. And as I mentioned, the film is available to watch on Amazon Prime and Vimeo. The links are given in the description below and is only 15 bucks to purchase or you can hire it for about 10 bucks. 
Now, I watched the film Sups, the movie, on Friday night after my kids went to sleep, and it was just awesome. The first hour of the film is just pure nostalgia. It felt like I was flicking through my old waiter muscle mag collection in HD. It's awesome, and I really want to highlight this because Alex Ardenti, from what I know, was given exclusive rights to go through the waiter archives and pull out some unpublished, never before seen photos and just awesome stuff from the golden and silver era of bodybuilding which you'll only be able to see if you watch subs the movie it is it is just awesome it is really like going back into a time capsule in that era and all of you old school bodybuilding fans will just love to see this this movie now let me give you some exclusive footage now from the film which alex himself has given me to share with you guys so let's check it out Joe Weider was 100% tuned into the pop culture of the era, and not only did he rise to the top of the heap, he reinvented the game from scratch. Joe made bodybuilding and supplements sexy. Everything was wild, everything was fun, and everything had sex appeal from the editorials to the ads to the labels. At the time, Joe was using great champions like Larry Scott, Dave Draper, and Frank Zane to sell his supplements. But in 1968, he found his main ambassador to the movement, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh man, now as you just saw, you get Arnold, you got, you got Dave J Draper, the, the blonde bomber, you've got Frank Zane, Larry Scott, first Mr. Olympia, you've got everyone in it. It's just awesome. I love this film. The nostalgia is just all over it. It's just fantastic. And I've, I've watched this film twice already. And just watching this clip again, I mean, it just gives me the shivers and I just want to watch it again. I just want to, tonight, I'm just going to watch it again. It's just so good. I just love it. Now, let me give you a breakdown of the storyline of the film while I catch my breath. And um, basically, the storyline of Sups, the movie, is, is this. Um, uh, Alex starts off by talking about the history, of course, and he chronologically goes through the history of bodybuilding supplementation. And what I really love about the start of the film is that he actually talks about his own story, his personal story, which we can really all relate to. Because he, he, like most of us, back in the day especially, um, I mean, I'm, I'm over 40 years old, so I started my bodybuilding as well back in the 80s. And just, and just like Alex, I mean, it's like it goes through those feelings of pursuing your bodybuilding dreams. When you first look at those mags or you first saw those images of Arnold or Lou Ferrigno in, in Hulk or in Conan or in, in the Terminator films. And you can really relate to that story. To, to pursue your dream as a muscle man and you see them all drinking their, their protein shakes and you go, man, if I get that shake, I can look like them. And I mean, we know that it's not necessarily the case, but it brings me back to that moment watching this part of the film, especially in the beginning. It brings me back to that moment in my early childhood and, and um, early teens when, you know, I thought everything was possible you know the world was possible if I just took that protein drink and that feeling is there I mean it is just it is there in that film it is just so good it's um yeah it's just uh, it's fantastic that that feeling you get again right you kind of feel like a child again go through through those magazines that's why I keep repeating that I really do feel like I'm going through my mags again I have that same feeling just going through my mags and going, yeah, I'm going to hit the gym and I'm going to drink my shake and I'm going to be huge like Arnold, you know. I just get that feeling again. Anyway, the, the, continuing with the storyline. So he does talk about his own childhood, how he was pursuing his bodybuilding dreams and, and you know, following the workouts, buying the, the drinks, buying the supplements, etc. The, the film also goes through um, the um, the battles, I guess, at the time during the Silver Era, especially between Wader, Hoffman and Dan Lurie, of course, all which were pioneers in the bodybuilding supplement industry. Uh, of course, uh, they battled through the 50s, 60s, and 70s, after which Wader truly uh, shone and, and rised above the rest of them. And of course, the, the film then explores the, subsequ the subsequent companies that followed in the 80s, 90s, and present, which really now delved into the scientific, um, I guess, uh, detail of supplements, the scientific um, uh, 
discoveries, the research that was being made into uh, supplementation. And uh, yeah, I mean, the subsequent now explosion of the industry. The, the, the film at the end also gives, of course, a list of the more recommended supplements that are researched. And um, in that respect, it's, a, it's an excellent tool for people that are also uh, considering taking supplements and have never uh, taken them before. The end, of course, gives, is an excellent reference. Um, it, does gives, it does give an excellent list of supplements now that are, that are highly um, proven, of course, that are proven to, to work uh, clinically. And um, yeah, the film ends there. It's, it's a really awesome film. So now that I've given you my impressions and the storyline of the film, I'd like to share with you my review of Sups the Movie. The film being two hours long is a comprehensive and chronological experience of the history of the bodybuilding supplement industry. The film is narrated by Alex Ardenti and takes you step by step through the evolution of supplements used from the Bronze Era, Silver Era and Golden Era of bodybuilding all the way through to the current and present day. The quality of the images are HD and I mean these images from the past are brought back to life. I mean they are clear as, as crystal as you can see this one from Dave Draper, Dave the, blom, uh, the Blonde Bomber Draper drinking his protein drink there. And I mean you'll see beautiful cans of, of weighed up protein um, powders and, and uh, Rio Blairs etc. It's, it's all there. You'll, you'll learn so much about the uh, supplement industry as it evolved uh, through time. It's really really comprehensive. Further, the interviews that are actually offered within the film, I mean, we, we have the who's who of bodybuilding present in this film and the who's who of the supplement industry as well. And this really adds further weight to this very well researched film documentary. It is fantastic and it gets a double thumbs up from me, the Golden Era Bookworm. Finally, I of course appear in the film credits because Alex Ardenti did contact me a couple of years ago um, for some uh, information, specifically several scans of um, which you will actually see in the film, several scans of, of advertisements of course that I own in my muscle mags and I'm, uh, to be honest I'm not sure whether these were officially used in the film but they definitely um, at least uh, acted as, as references for Alex to then uh, pursue at the way to archives and uh, yeah I'm so excited I mean look at my name this is there uh, with Gold's Gym and with a photo of Arnold I mean damn I'm so happy this is like I'm really happy I'm so happy that I was uh, uh, e even though my my contribution uh, at least in my own eyes was a small contribution I'm still glad to have been part of this amazing project and to see it uh, come through at the end and just really just uh, yeah, man, it's just pure nostalgia. There's no other way I can I can express that. I mean, the, the, especially that first hour of the film, um, it is just pure nostalgia. It is gold. If you if you're into old school bodybuilding, you will just love this film. I, I just can't stress that enough. It's great, and and I've loved it, and I'll continue watching it again. It's great. Anyway, that's it for me. I hope you have enjoyed my review on. Subs the movie, a film by Alex Ardenti, out now on Amazon Prime and Vimeo. If you did enjoy uh, watching the uh, my, my little video review, please give the um, video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm. Leave me your comments and thank you for watching. If you'd like to support my work, please donate via PayPal or uh, you can become a patron on my Patreon account. Uh, another way of supporting me, of course, is via um, the um, if you actually have books or magazines that you want to get rid of, um, please contact me via my email. It's always available on, on the description of each video, um, and I would more than happy take your collection uh, to further build my collection and library um, for me to share with the world. And as you can see, I share it. I do share it, and I'm part of many projects. Some that I have not announced yet. But this is just one of many that I'm, I'm involved in and I'm happy, I'm very happy to help in preserving the history of bodybuilding. And this is why I'm so happy that I'm part of this project because I truly do think that it does, uh, that it does uh, uh, show the, the world, the community of bodybuilding, part of the history of bodybuilding, which is uh, supplements, which is a very important part of the history of the Iron Game. Anyway. 
Um, yeah, you can also support me as well, of course, through my website where I, where I sell ebooks um, of uh, old school bodybuilding, um, out of print books and courses from the silver, bronze, and golden era of bodybuilding on my website. That is www.goldenerabookworm.com. Anyway, that's it for me. Hope you've enjoyed my review again. And uh, yeah, that's the uh, hope you can see it. It's well worth seeing. Um, again, on Amazon Prime and on Vimeo. That's it for me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash Golden Era Bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the Golden Era of Bodybuilding. I want to recommend this phenomenal book, Vince's Secret Locker, volume number two by Carl Coyne. I've been looking at this for about four weeks and I can't put it down. If you get a chance, check it out. He also has a part one that I, I highly recommend also. Uh, Vince was the trainer of the stars and had an amazing, interesting gym that today there's still not equipment like, uh, like it around. It was all made out of wood. Uh, he'll be on our radio show coming up probably in the next couple weeks or so. Have a great day, and again, highly recommend this book.